all right guys welcome back to the channel hill creek outdoors today we're going to fix uh, a little issue we probably should have done in the first place when we put this uh rock right here behind the pole barn underneath the lean-to uh, we put a, a, some boards there some treated boards and we didn't put any bracing um, in between as you can see between this uh, big pole here and the actual main structure of the pole barn and these boards right here they're a little too long and now they're starting to bow out from all the pressure from that gravel there so what we're going to do today is we're going to take the the tractor here the coyote ns6010 we're going to use a bucket and try to push a lot of that gravel out of there we'll probably have to get in there with some shovels um, just get some room in there we're going to put some bracing in there some uh, wood um, lag it all in there with some deck screws and then uh, see if we can pull that back help support a little bit more so we don't have that bowing and help this help it out a lot more better so that's what we're going to get into today i'll tell you what it is early in the morning it is 8 30 currently and it's already in the 90s it is brutal heat wave going through here in ohio so we're trying to get this and knock it out before it gets too crazy but hey let's go ahead and get started thanks again for uh coming back to the channel don't forget to like and subscribe and let's get into it So right here is what I'm talking about. If you can see, we got the top board there. It doesn't have any gravel that's against it, and it is not bowing. But all that gravel is forcing these two bottom boards to bow, as you can see. So we're going to dig that out and try to put some uh, good bracing in there. So let's go ahead and get into it here, see what we can come up with.
All right, so as you can see, we used the tractor bucket there and, and got a lot of this gravel out, but we're going to have to get in here and pull some of this out by hand to get some bracing in here, but it's not going to be nearly as bad. So let's move this, and then we'll uh, put some bracing on there. We'll start right here, I guess. Let's see if we can draw this in here. Let's measure and see what we need, actually. Looks like 15 and a half, 15 and a half inches. So we'll cut some of these boards to 15 and a half inches. And that will help us out to get them the right length there. One. Two. Three. Four. Now I know what you're saying. Um, that's not those aren't um, treated. Well, you're right. They're not. They're not, but it's not going to... It'll take forever for those. And that's all I had, and it's just what it is. So, it's what we're using. You're technically supposed to use treated wood um, whenever it's touching ground, but this is not a... This is just uh, some bracing. We're going to put quite a few in here. So if it lasts a while before it rots out, so be it. We'll do it again. Um, that's just my thought on it. So we'll go from there. Let's throw some of these brace, more bracing in and see what we can get. All right, so you can see now with the bracing on there, look how this brought, it's still bowed a little bit, but it's gonna help it to be all one uniform piece instead of really bowing. Um, so I think we're gonna be good there.
unfortunately that looks like that's all we can get with the tractor unless we move all this stuff so it looks like we're gonna have to do some manual labor here because i keep hitting this with the the tractor there so and that's the last thing we want to do is break what we just fixed so um yeah that's one thing that maybe the john deere 1025r could do that a bigger tractor can't is get into tight space a little better obviously it's a more of a subcompact tractor and a little bit smaller and you can utilize it a little bit different so now we're going to move all this by hand so let's go ahead and roll it out Well, when it's this hot out, make sure you guys are stopping to take breaks. Get you a drink. I love these bubblies. They just give you a little bit more than just water, but hey, take your breaks. Don't overwork yourself. It'll get done when it gets done. It's not worth it. So I'm going to sit here, take a couple drinks, relax for a second, and get right back into it. Maybe we'll have to get some uh, some of those little rocks here in a little while. Fill it over top. So there we go. We got her all wrapped up. Gravel's back over top. We probably should have put that bracing in the originally when we put the uh, boards on there to backfill this gravel onto it. But, you know, you make mistakes, you learn from them. It is what it is. So this is going to be a good job now. Uh, another usage you can use the tractor for, get in tight spaces like this. It helped out a lot. I didn't have to move nearly as much gravel by hand. Still had to move some by hand, but hey, it is what it is. So, hey, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to like and subscribe. We truly appreciate you all coming back to the channel. And stay tuned to our next videos coming out here shortly. So, until next time, here on Hill Creek Outdoors, we'll see ya. Mm -hmm.